I'll see you in the next one, and maybe with more cats. I got more cats. We're not quite there yet with every color pattern cat there is, but we're making some good progress. And any extra cats that I'm getting of the same breeds that I already have, I'm leaving them at my shop at Spawn so they can be shop cats until I make a shelter and eventually a sanctuary. In fact, in the spirit of building a sanctuary, I just think that it would be really nice for the cats to have a little place to run around. Outdoor time with supervision only. I think that it's time I build myself a windmill and that'll be where we do all of our crops and the cats can have little naps outside in the wheat. took uh, forever. It looks really good though, and my wheat is growing. I think I'll expand the wheat, and I think I'll make more beehives because I kinda like how they look all scattered around out here. You know, I think this is a safe area to let my cats be slightly outdoor, only part-time. Take care of your cats out there, people. In the meantime though, I do absolutely owe a favor to Fwip. Let's go decorate his villager homes. Okay, we got a job to do because we are also in the final week of staying alive, which I've done a very good job of this time. But I do still need to find a god apple, so that's how I'm gonna be spending the rest of the day because it is, at the time I'm filming this, the final day. But let's give these guys some little homes first. They've been waiting. And I'm also gonna borrow from Flip's things um, because that's just part of the job. I don't have enough stuff. If I steal a god apple from Flip, does that count as new? How do you find stuff? Ooh, I found stuff. I think we're gonna need to make a lot of bunk beds. Okay, I decorated as many of the little rooms as I could find and even made some extra new rooms. So let me take you around and show you what I did. So first we got a room in here, got a double bed with a little partitioner, some job blocks. I ended up putting all of the other beds up here. I don't actually know if the villagers need to access these, um, and if they do, I can change this to a staircase. But I wanted to make it feel homey, and I did make a sleeping barracks, that's up here. This is where most of the beds were, so I wanted to keep it as most of the beds. So we've got all our bunk beds, and then we have a loft space with some more beds. There's a little house right here on the way in. This is your house? I guess this is his house. Is, do you like it? Is it nice? What's going on in here? Can I get in? Yeah, I thought this was nice. You know, it's all pretty simple, but the point was to... Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll just leave it there. I found another little space here that I put a couple of beds in. Not that one. This one. Another little double bedroom. And then I think I snuck another one in here. 
Yeah, a nice little room in here. I hope this is enough beds. We can definitely sneak more beds around. I also decorated a little bit on the outside because he wanted it to be more colorful and I really liked that he had these little hanging things. So I put some flags. I put a couple more hanging things. I actually changed some of his flowers to be more colorful flowers. So I've got some yellow ones and some red ones sprinkled around. So I hope he likes it and I think that his villagers already like it. They're already claiming which homes are theirs. All right, let's go head home and prepare for our next big adventure. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go walk for thousands of blocks, whatever it takes. I've done enough mining at this point and I've gone through enough mine shafts that I think I'd like to go on the surface and try to find temples. And also I'm gonna be heading towards the mesa that I know is out there. Because if I can get one in the mine shaft there, that would probably be the easiest. But we'll be crossing deserts and jungles and villages. So maybe also some cats along the way. Well, uh, better get walking, I guess. It's the way that you can tell that I filmed this clip after because who, who even is this man? You don't even know yet. You'll meet him soon, don't worry. Okay, so this has been a big adventure to try and find literally anything that might have a god apple. And I keep coming across villages, so we've got orange cat and white cat. We haven't had those before. And I'm just coming up onto a swamp and I haven't been in a swamp yet. <gasps> oh my God, and the f there's so many frogs. Okay, and she's outside. Okay, I can take her. That's what I thought. Oh, don't hurt the cats. There has to be a black cat here somewhere, right? Right? Hello? I never seen a witch hut on land. Of course, I finally find where there'd be a black cat. I guess it could be wandering. I swear I heard a third different meow. I swear that sounded like it came from a different cat. So now I'm thinking I should start walking home. These are all three new colors for me. I don't have these ones yet. We might not find a god apple here, but we found something more important. Friends. Aww. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna start putting them outside though. I think uh, the meowing's gonna start getting on my nerves probably pretty soon. I found a mesa. It's a pretty big one. So what I've spotted is that, and I'm just gonna find my way through all the mine shaft tunnels that I can. That one very obviously has spiders in it though. <laughs> Why are the sounds so gross? Okay, got him. Who's walking around? Who's got the big footsteps, the big boy? Stomps. Where'd you spawn? Why does he move like that? <gasps> Everybody fingers crossed that nobody has ever been here. <sighs> All right, that was our first shot. We're gonna keep looking. That is another mine shaft. That's something I don't wanna deal with. <sighs> That's two chests, one step closer. I hate the sounds that I'm hearing. Oh. Oh, it's just a regular one. Come on. Dang it. <gasps> okay, come on. Everybody just like manifest. <sighs> Dang it. I think that's literally just a spider hole. I think that has just only spiders in it. I'll leave them. That's a dungeon. Oh, this is actually amazing. Come back, please. Okay. I 
skeleton? What skeleton? You know, I already have one. Okay, we got bones. That's the only chest. I don't want to go that way. That way is bad. Dude, how many gold apples can I find? We got another. We're getting a lot of them. I just need a god apple. Please. Jeez. That is just great. That's really great, actually. I love that. I'm happy. I'm glad. At this point, I found a camel in a village and took him all over the desert looking for desert temples to loot. The first four chests I looted in this desert temple had nothing. So we set out back into the desert where I came across a buried, ruined portal. And at this point, I didn't even know I could potentially find a god apple in here, but I found nothing. So then I went around the mesa looking for every entrance into a mine shaft possible. And I opened chest after chest after chest. And just when I was thinking about giving up, I found it. At this point though, I had become so attached to the camel that I needed to walk him all the way back home instead of just flying. And we had a really fun journey. Well, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I know this was a short one. I kind of played a safe this week, but next week I wanna try to do as many advancements as I can because some of them give us fate coins, so we might need to respawn the dragon, hit a fireball back at a ghast, and other dangerous activities. So leave a like if you enjoyed watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.